What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow reptiles? My name is Seth, and we are back again for some more Sekiro. Shadows die a million zillion times. So, this part right here, I actually saw in another video, there's a samurai guy up there. My plan is if, and I mean if, I can take him out, because there is a mist wall behind him. Like, I love this game. Mini boss into a mini boss. Wow, the pacing is perfect. Just kidding. Look, I'm not holding anything and my camera does that. I tried looking online, but I don't know why it does that. Like, it's it's uggles, dude. So anyways, um, what I'm hoping we can end up doing is shurikening some of these extra ads uh, and then getting a stealth attack on this other guy here. I'm sure hopefully. you are all aware already. What? This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin. And the peoples of Ashina! We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Okay, yeah! shut up. Anyways, let's For see Ashina! our let's see our charge shot. Cause I've never done that yet. Okay. Maybe I need to be more stealthy. Okay, that guy's not dead? Really? He's at like the tiniest bit of health, but whatever. No, I didn't want to hit. No, 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 you stupid game. Just give me a break. I wasn't trying to do that. You know what? Fine. Want me to fight an enemy head on? I'll do it. Come at me. Come on. If you fight me one on one, you coward. Okay, maybe he's going to lose aggro with us. And then we can get a nice stealth hit on him. He seems to get stuck on this door. Is he leaving? Can we get a stealth hit on him? His health bar is still on top of his head, which tells me that he's still aggroed. Yep, he's still aggroed. Okay, so the game's just lying and being stupid. <laughs> All right, well, at least we can kind of cheese him. But I don't know why, I don't know why the stealth didn't work. Maybe I have to have a higher level of stealth or something. Uh, but I have like literally no levels at all. At least we can cheese him. Yeah, okay, he's gone now. So we can get a stealth hit on him. Which means I can literally just do this. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Whoa! Okay, big guy. Now it's time for you and me to tangle. Huh. Fighting you one on one? That's no problem. I can handle that. Huh. Okay, maybe I can't because for some reason you're just the most aggressive character I've ever seen in this game. Huh. He's got so much freaking health, man. Like, what am I supposed to do against a guy like this? He changed up his stance. I blocked it at least, but yikes, dude. Um, um, stop it, game. I was doing just fine. My gosh, dude. There's nothing I can do against him. He's just so... Okay, no. I literally have a move where I can deflect stabs. And when I press B, which, way to go, devs, is also the block button. Like the dodge button. Oh my gosh. I just never get an attack on this guy. And now he's gonna do his crazy million, million step combo. My gosh. Like how? How do I deal with this man? Oh, that's a sweep attack. Oh my gosh. And then I could have at least gotten a sweep, like an attack on him right there, but my reach in this game, I hate it. I'm, I'm literally spamming the block button. Literally spamming it. Alright, fine. I'll be more aggressive. I'll be more aggressive with you then. Uh, 
Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, what you got, man? I don't care. I don't care, Matsumoto. Fine. You want me to play aggressive? I know how to play aggressive. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, man. And then for some reason he does that. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. No. What? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes! At least we got that stealth kill on him, otherwise we would have had to do that again. Woo! That was intense. Okay. See, now, that fight, I enjoyed. The bull? No. Yikes, dude. That was fun. That was fun. I like those duels. What is... This map is gigantic, by the way. There's so many different pathways. I also saw some weird merchant back there. Ooh, what's this? Treasure. What did we earn from beating that man? Divine grass. Oh, good. An item that I just literally am going to sell. Does not open from this side. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> what was the point then? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this area is pretty crazy. This area is pretty crazy. Yeah, that guy right there. I think he's a shop, right? You. you Hello. Are, you're not one of the samurai of this castle, are you, friend? You look like a shinobi. And a skilled one at that. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. That's right. <laughs> I thought so. In that case, let's say you take care of some of the samurai around here. Some I did. unfortunate things happened. And now they're after me day and night. I'm at the end of my rope here. I tell you, these Ashina samurai got a stick so far up that... Well, you'd think they'd have bigger things to worry about than chasing after me anyway. No, it happens to me too, brah. Of course, I'll make it worth your while. I make my living selling information. Oh. Take care of the samurai around here for me. And I'll let you in on something really special. Friend. So long as you don't sell it to me. Of course. I make my take care of like, the samurai. Like, that would be stupid. It's like, he he's like, I'll help you out, but... You're, I, it's gonna, I'm gonna charge you, okay? <laughs> this is the enemy AI. <laughs> this is this, that. He's just, he was walking in circles. <laughs> well, anyways. Okay, he's got a lot of friends. Hey, come on! I can't see anything! I can't see! Like, stop it, game! Let me just life steal some of this back. There! And now I'm getting caught on the environment. My gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, really? Really? Let me life steal a little bit here. Come on. I can block too. Oh my gosh. I'm blocking! I hate this game sometimes, dude. It's so frustrating. Most of all because that. Like, are you kidding me? Press me up against the wall and then I can't see anything? Wow. <laughs> These Maybe their AI is just that smart. It's like they know. Um, okay. I guess I should have known I would have been attacked by a random enemy up here. Nah! This? Ugh. Oh my gosh, really? What was that? What is that? What? Oh. Yikes, dude. Whew. Well, at least somehow I had another res. Can you just, okay, it's just a normal enemy. 
Like, seriously? Scrap iron, I'll take it. It's just a normal enemy, you stupid weakling. Get out of here. Sekiro is like the worst shinobi out there, dude. <laughs> and what is that thing up there? How do I even deal with that? Now I gotta deal with environmental hazards? All right, well, apparently there was something down there I could have gone for too, right? Yeah, there's like an item like legit down in the water there. I'm scared that we'll be attacked by something though. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go see if that dude is all like, brr, you finally got rid of the samurai or was he talking about something special? Yes, I know there's that ghost there. I just don't really care. Okay, here we go. Ah! Are you good? You're a real friend. friend. Yeah, okay, good. Here, as promised. Uh, Night Jar Beacon Memo. A note on smoke signals used by... Pale pink smoke signals are placed along the rooftops of the castle. These signals guide the Night Jar. The Ashen Feathered Flock are surely the only ones able to follow such See a trail. Maybe we'll cross paths again someday. Okay. I don't quite know what... Uh, what we just got there, but there's there's another one of those crow characters, so at least they're just a normal enemy. So I I probably can just beat them pretty easily. I do like that we're climbing along the roofs and stuff like that. Like that's really cool. Anyways, let's go see what these ghosts are talking about, and then I I gotta use a bonfire. I don't care. Lord Crew, it is time, Lady Emma. Yes, I know. Master Genichiro is waiting, is he not? I will return to the top of Ashina Castle. Okay. That's it? Well, that reed whistle we used before. This uh -huh. time, I will use it to call on you. Okay. Weird. Whatever. Now, the problem is, as we rest at this bonfire, everything's gonna respawn. Yeah, all those guys respawned. The samurai guy didn't, thankfully. But I'm gonna take this pathway instead. Actually, let's jump down. Let's see what's what's going on down here. Secret sewer. I like it. Anything else? Let's go check this out. Is there a secret in here? Where where do we go? Where do we go? You know there's like a spot where we can just jump up or something. Otherwise, this is just useless, and we're going to use it later or something stupid. Okay. Useless. Would have been cool, and then wasn't. Man, I hate this guy's grappling hook. <laughs> Anyways. Let's see. No, I see what you're saying, Blazy King. I do. Light coin purse. Mm, I don't know why I was just naturally sneaking around. Is this gonna be that broken bridge? Ooh, eavesdrop. You were the one that put the armor on. Hey, I know where we are. From Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. It was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? He uh. already had a huge frame and massive strength, and you just made him near impervious to blades. Ah. Uh. That is true, but. He doesn't like that armor, and he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. Okay. I guess that they're just trying to say that whatever new enemy we're going to fight, because all this game is, is boss rushes. It's going to be like some type of creature where we slowly are whittling off his armor. Whoop! Gatehouse key, the key to the samurai gatehouse located in the astronaut river. Let's just talk about it for fifty thousand years. It's just a gate key. Like seriously, it's nothing. It's nothing super crazy. Hey, Stratus. Yeah. So this is the tutorial area, guys. You remember? Back over there is where we got our sword. Over there is the well, and there was items down there. So I want to go back there and grab them. Is that weird goblin under the bridge still there? No, he's not. Apparently, Mark was saying, too, I didn't do it, but you can actually jump down into the reservoir that's down there. 
Oh, maybe that's what the key was for. Maybe it was for this. Let's try it out. Yeah. Was that for here? Locked. Ah, really? That's too bad. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Yes! I know how to beat you, you weird little gremlin. Oh, there's more? Oh, great. That'll be more of those rats, though. Scrap iron, I'll take it. Which means that uh, that guy might like what we're doing here. Excuse me? Freak! And then there's that one down there, which I'll just get a nice... There we go. <laughs> Stupid little monsters, man. I don't even know. Mibu Balloon Spirit. Oh, okay. I thought that was something different. Oh, hi, Mert. I finally just beat the third boss. Which one? The old woman? Or uh, the one that's in this next area that I didn't see yet? This area sucks, dude. It's like so mean. Uh, no, I beat her already. Oh, is there a trick to beating her that I don't know, Merc? Or did you just have more damage because you, like, fought something else first? Because I just find that I run out of patience fighting her. It's not that she's... I mean, she's difficult, but... It's, like, more so than anything else. Bonfire! I'll take it! Wait a minute does not open from this side, which means... How do we get there? Is there... There better be a quick, easy way back up top, because... What? Uh... I like when he does that. Like, ugh, the parkour in this game does suck. Like, it's legit bad. I give up. I give up. I'm not even gonna try and open the door from the other side. I really... I don't care. Man alive, the parkour is just so awful in here. Like, it's not like it's super bad. Oh, you guys, I could have eavesdropped on. That's okay. Can you just... I know there's wolves! Oh! I don't know if this game is good or bad. I really don't. Because it's like, you just get tagged by every little attack, and then your character misses, like... All the time. Ah. Yikes. Okay, be aggressive on the old woman. When she spawned uh, the minions in her second phase. Okay. Yeah, I, I know I could just figure it out. Oh, good. Two big fat guys that will take 50 years to defeat or one stealth attack if I can get lucky enough. All right. Oh, good. They all just aggroed me. All right. Here. Here. I'll approach this game just like proper Dark Souls. Oh, oh, no. Mini boss. Good. See, here's, this is, this is it. This is this entire game. Let's just make it. So that there's a billion side enemies that you have to fight. That are going to exhaust your supplies. And slowly whittle you down. And then we're going to hit you with a mini boss that you won't be able to fight. Not because of lack of skill by any means. Fighting it one on one would actually be very epic. But, no, nope, we're gonna take that opportunity away from you. Go to the right, stupid. I'm holding right on the joystick. Oh, I could've just climbed down from that side. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. How do I get back out? I'll show you how I get back out. No, I didn't. I didn't want that one! Like, I don't want to be complaining throughout the entire experience, but really, it's like, I'm just kind of speechless. Like, even, even stuff like that, like, it's like, there's no reason for all of those guys to respawn. I understand that they're normal enemy types, but any enemies that are around, like, a mini-boss shouldn't respawn, because then it's just fair, you know? Because something like this, I understand the idea that they want challenge, but it's like, repeating content is not difficulty. Like, having to fight the same enemies over and over again just because you respawn or uh, rested at a bonfire... Like, really? Okay, where is this door? Oh, it's like underground. Okay, so I, I literally can't 
Open that door. Huh. Weird. What about this door? Can I secretly open this? <laughs> no, of course not. I got a grapple up top. And is that an arena? Oh, that's an arena, all right. That's an It's There's no fog there. So I don't know. Can you just... There you go. And then I'm guessing this guy... Okay, watch this. I got a secret strat for him. Let's get rid of that because we don't need it. Uh, here we go. Huh. <laughs> Even the distraction item doesn't work in this game. Really? What if I do it now? <laughs> this game is so buggy, man. I love it. It's like so, it's so awful. And then good in moments. It, like it's got such good moments of glory and then it's got other moments where it's just like, what is this? So this item, this urn item. Oh my gosh, you moron. I can throw it. So I throw the urn item. And because this is, this is the devs that we're talking about. They're like, let's not make it Screw you. Let's not make it so that it distracts this guy because they desperately wanted us to fight him, but screw you. Scrap magnetite, whatever. That's I guess that's good for later. <laughs> and of course he was looking this way too, like further lowering our odds of actually getting that stealth shot on him. Uh oh. This looks bad. Oh, never mind. And then and then that. And then that. Like, there's another idol here. Like, in Dark Souls, you felt, like, so good when you got to the next bonfire. In this game, it's just kind of, like... I don't know. It's not even relief. Hey, man. Dare to purchase an offering? Yeah. Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. We, the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. Go ahead. Buy an offering. I'll buy anything, dude. Anything that's gonna actually be useful. I don't care about that. Contact medicine. Uh, these other weird passive items that I never use in this game. Mask fragment, dragon. Fragment of an old dancer's mask. The original must have been broken into several pieces and this fragment appears to be a decoration at the top of the mask. Okay, so we already know where the right side of the mask is. That's at the fish salesman guy. But that prayer bead is way more important because if it'll give us some extra health. Uh, but I don't know what this item actually does. Like, I'm really curious what all three of the pieces would do. I'm not going to bother getting it until we can see all of those. So this item restores your vitality and cures all status abnormalities. I just sell it because that's $300 right there. How much was this item? $1,400. Uh... Like, a lot of these I could honestly probably just sell because I don't really care. Balloon of soul, balloon of spirit. What's the difference? Weird. Uh, that'll be perfect. Give me that. I don't want to buy the mask yet. I, I want to spend... Forever... Yeah, 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 shut up. I want to buy as much items as possible because keeping your money, like you just lose it all the time. There's no reason to hang on to it. There we go. All right, so that's cool. That'll actually make us... Uh, that'll give us a lot more health. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot more. Uh, maximum vitality and posture has increased. Okay. That should help us out quite a bit, honestly. Because that's the thing. Like, it's like, as frustrated as I am at the beginning of the game, I actually do genuinely enjoy this game. It's just there's stuff that's really buggy. Get it? There's a bug right there. Ha! <laughs> but, uh... What I'm most looking forward to, actually, this is scary. Is there going to be a bug boss down here? What I'm most looking forward to is when we start fighting the weirdo enemy types. It looks like we're about to. And uh, when we're stronger, because it's like, whoa. Why are you invincible, man? That thing took so many swings to hit. Or to take him down? Oh my gosh. So this is just zombie town. 
Speaking of fighting like demons, that's actually awesome. Now we're talking. He just came back. Please don't throw rocks at me. That's really cool. I like that a lot. See, stuff like this. It's like, why didn't they have more things like this? That is cool. I'm down for that. Pacifying agent? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Reduces terror buildup and increases terror resistance. My gosh, dude. Now there's a new status effect. Fear. Wimp. Are you a shop? Yeah, you're someone I what can talk to. What are you doing here? Of all places. Hey, man. Ah, are you perhaps a shinobi? Uh, yes. That's right. I thought as much. Might you be willing to take on a favor for me? Maybe. I am Dojun. I've been tasked with the preparation of a medical treatment using the rejuvenating waters. I'll get to the point, my dear shinobi. Yes, please. This is a letter I received from the master. The particulars are contained within. A worn and bloodstained letter from uh, Dosaku, the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. Required one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a young large soldier, such as a member of the Taru group. I don't know who that is, but I guess we gotta go and kill a Taru group person. Sure. Must be delivered unharmed. What? Unharmed? How did we- My dear Shinobi, the details are in the document I gave you. Considering the nature of the information, I think you'd agree that the less we know about each other, the better. Really? My dear Shinobi, the de considering- Okay. Well, that's, uh, hmm. That's too bad. Oh, look, this guy's just chilling. Please, please, I'm thirsty, I need water. Hey, there's items down there, and bugs. Well- Let's just go down. Oh no, I'm going to get terror from the, the little bug enemies. Right? Oh wow, oil. Ah! They're giving us lots of oil here, so does fire kill these guys? I wanna try it. That's our firecrackers. No, I want flame vent. And we've got plenty of oil, so we may as well just use it. This is gonna be so mean. Poor zombie. He won't even know what hit him. Hey, man. Eh. There you go. There you go. Does that finish him? Ah! Did it finish him? Yeah, it does. Okay. And what did he drop? Pacifying agent? Okay, so that's how you can kill these guys. Maybe not perma, but... All right. I'm down for that. How about a little fire, Scarecrow? Uh, excuse me? Really? I set him on fire, dude! Why? Okay, I guess it still tagged him. It must have, maybe we just gotta do fire damage. Maybe we don't gotta like actually physically set them on fire. All right. Interesting, weird. I kind of like this area just because it's so strange and like different from the rest of the game. And I like all the spirit enemies and stuff, okay? I don't like dealing with little cockroaches though. Like that's just weird. Red lump, a round red lump consumed to gain red eyes and reduce flinching from enemy attacks, but also prohibits the use of resurrection. Whoa. Okay, so, huh, weird. Oh, and then Merc saying I, he had to kill them twice in order to get them to perma-die. Okay. Okay. I mean, at least they're pretty obvious with the way that you fight them. Oh! Come on! Come on! What a long, boring animation! I'm glad to see they still got those in this game. Give me your life. You don't have much of it, but I'll take it. No, no. Don't you grab me, man. Oh no. Oh no, he's back. Get out of here. That one fell. Ah! What? Why was there like, there's more cockroaches again. 
Stop it! These enemies, man. Why? Why more cockroaches? Get out of here! <laughs> Stay down this time. You're scaring my samurai guy. Bite down. What? When time calls for death by one's own hand, samurai turn their swords on themselves as a matter of pride. While shinobi de demand a swifter means, simply crush in the back teeth to die. Nothing more is required. Resurrection is not limited after use. What? <laughs> so they added an item that just lets you game over yourself? Why? Why would I want to use that? I don't get it, but like they've got so many strange items in this game, dude. Oh good, another another idol. As if it was like deep in this cave or anything. Weird, man. This game's getting so strange. Okay, is this oh this is kinda spooky. Why? Is this water? It is. Scrap iron, I'll take it. Uh, I have a real life fear of ocean creatures, man. I don't like this. Some zombie fish is gonna come out and eat me. Uh, okay, we're good. Oh. Okay, those guys are evil. What about oh, he's evil too. Okay. Well, I'll take care of him just because he's here. Boink. And then we got spear guy over here. At least we can stealth these guys. <laughs> Pacifying agent. What? I don't understand the point of half of these items, dude. Like, what is it? Black gunpowder. That's good. We need that. Light coin purse. I do really like this area. It's weird and gimmicky, but I, I do genuinely like this. Like, this is really cool. I feel like I'm exploring an ancient tomb or something, and there's going to be, like, some super evil at the end, you know? Oh, gosh. Please don't have a giant fish eat me. <laughs> Something's trying to attack me in the water. What? Oh. Yep. And you're just a normal enemy, right? Okay, good. I thought it was going to be like an epic duel. I mean, it kind of is, but I thought it was going to be like a super, a super enemy. Just hiding inside the cave here, you know? And it was going to be like, oh, fight him right here. Now give me the idol. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This looks bad. Okay, an elevator. Oh, is this a shortcut? Yeah, uh, it's working. Are enemies going to come up it? I wouldn't be surprised with this type of game. Okay, good. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know where we're going. Like, this is kind of cool. Is this bringing me to a boss fight? Oh, boy. And with bugs and zombies and stuff, it's like, I'm scared, man. I need to have that terror item in real life. Okay, these pots are invincible. It's so silent, too. It's dead you. silent in... Yes, you. Huh? Yeah? What? Oh, idle. <laughs> what is going on? It's getting really interesting, though. You? Those of the Senpo Temple have uh, from Buddha's teachings. Okay. They have abandoned their faith, seduced by a search for immortality. I want immortality. Should you oh, wait. be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. What? You would do well to return the way you came. Ah. Uh... However, hurry up! I will not stop you from entering if you are determined to do so. Okay. But if you do, please. Proceed with care. Yeah, just keep repeating what you just said. Great! So, a poster of the Divine himself is telling us not to proceed. I well... I see you have decided to continue. Yeah. 
Shut up! We will pray for your safety. It is the least we can do. <sighs> There's nothing out here. Don't worry. I already fought like a giant bull, okay? I think we're fine. This is a different area, at least. It's beautiful. Sempu Temple. Oh! This area looks dope, son! This is beautiful. What the? That's a floating kite thing. It looks like we actually go down there eventually. There's a monk guy over there. I wonder if he's like an epic duel or something. It looks like we can actually parkour our way across the scaffolding on that bridge to get over to that yonder cliff. What was that noise? Did I hear something? All right, well, take the way that they don't expect us to take, right? <laughs> Why am I killing a monk? What's wrong with him? I guess he's a ninja, so he doesn't care. Whoop! There was another one coming down the path. I don't know if they're tougher and not. Why Why did he do that? I sincerely do not know. No, oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. No. Why would you do this to us? Why? So mean. All right, um, well. There's so many of them, I think we could get, oh my, we could get overwhelmed really quickly. Why am I, why am I the bad guy now? Like, okay. Uh. They're making weird noises, which tells me that they might be evil. Okay. I'm literally spam dodging. Oh, there's a lot of them. Never mind. Woo! So long, Seggers. This guy's gonna turn around. He is. That guy's looking buff. He's gonna turn around for no reason whatsoever. Right? Okay, maybe not. Ha! He looked like he was a mini boss, so it scared me, okay? Oh, maybe we can't cross the scaffold swing. I thought there was uh, a way across. There's items down there, though. Woo! And of course, there's a little goblin man here. And another weird, oh, that kite thing that we saw. Okay. What is this doing? <laughs> this area is so strange. Whoa. Is that for later? We can grapple it or something? Huh? Okay. I'm guessing that that like does something. Maybe later we like got to get a character who's like, I want to see a kite again or something. I don't know. Because that's, uh, that's weird. Unless we just hold it for five years. Like, this is some weird cryptic Dark Souls stuff. Whoop. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, they were all still over here. I see. So, that's, that's something that's a little bit annoying. Excuse me? How do you see me when I'm literally in the grass? You know what? Screw you guys. Okay? Screw it. Too many. Way too many. I don't even care. <laughs> Way too many. You guys can't get up here, right? Right? I'm guessing that it wanted us to, like, it wants us to stealth this area, but I don't have my stealth skill up enough, so they just detect me right away. Okay, man, alive. This area is so confusing. There's so much to it. They're all aware of us, but I don't know if they're necessarily, like, looking at us. Okay. I'm literally spamming the block, man. No, 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 no. What do we do? Where do I go? There you go. Problem solved. I will not die by a cockroach. Not in this game. 
Uh-uh. No thank you. Why? Why did they have to add enemies like this? Not you, you're fine. The cockroaches. Like, just these dumb enemies that'll slowly whittle your health away. There is a big guy up there, isn't there? They're like praying to him because they know how strong he is. More sugar, more ceramic, more useless items, you mean? Get. Get. That guy's gonna come to life and kill me. Yup, he came to life. Oh no, he didn't. That's just another guy. Okay. Stop it! He did come to life! I jumped off him! Alright, screw this! Hello! This area sucks! We're not supposed to be here! Oh, they can attack me while I'm talking to you. Alright. <laughs> this game is designed by trolls for trolls. Like, oh my gosh. Go away. Go away. Go away. I like how there was that weird statue thing in there too. That was actually like scary that it came to life. I'll just hide over here, I guess. I mean, this area is beautiful. That's for sure. But there's way too much to it. And we just, we just outright don't do enough damage. There's some normal enemies. Them I'll deal with. The monks? I can't even learn their mechanics because there's too many of them. You know? Like, whew. Well, now we can go talk to the old lady. Oh no, is it one of these spots where he's gonna be stupid because the parkour in this game is designed by morons? Yep. I can't get back up. I gotta walk around like an idiot. Oh good, now, now another enemy just spotted me randomly. There you go. Is it still just them? Yeah, who cares? All right, tell me things. Fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh, the other is dried. It's over there. The fresh huh? one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Okay. Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. Uh, do nothing because I don't have, have any, any rice. Ri rice from the okay, anyways. Um, so there's like snake skin over there, which means down in the pit is probably where we fight the snake boss. But I see an item over there. And it looks like we have to get at it from either underneath or along the cliff side there. Maybe up over there. But I don't really know how we would make it over there. That's That's got to do with that kite. Because the kite goes through this area, right? I don't know. That's really cool that we can actually see all the stuff way in the background. But this area, it doesn't feel like we're supposed to be here yet. Because it's just... Too powerful, too overwhelming. Okay, just grab all those items, even though I... Whatever. Oh. Bird egg. Oh, no, a light coin purse. Just randomly in a bird's nest, whatever. Okay. I mean, it's a cool zone, that's for sure. I just wish I could actually, you know, explore it a little bit without just fighting a million enemies. Okay. I love the jumping. He always jumps sideways when I'm not even trying to do that. <sighs> Man alive. Okay, well. Come here, you. Because apparently this is the only way we can deal with these guys. We're getting so many random items. Okay, what about... Uh, is that the bridge from the other side? Oh, okay, there's an air bridge way up top there. Oh, and there's a cliff, uh, cliff area. So we can probably just kind of skip through this place and come back later. Okay. Nope. 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 I'm not fighting you. <laughs> I don't care. Nuh-uh, man. 
No. There we go. Bonfire. Screw you, game. Got it. <laughs> Whew. I'm not going to fight that guy in this small zone. Oh, great. Well, there's multiple pathways. It looks like that one's the obvious one. This one seems like the secret. Parkour. My favorite. This is going to be so awesome. Parkour. In this game. No. Moron. It's the same button to pick up the item as it is to go off the ledge. Shop. Hey. I'll take it. Yet to purchase an offering. There's too many one. of you guys. Where you find the departed. You'll find the memorial mob. There'll be none to mourn you. Should you forget the Buddha. Go ahead. Buy and off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what do you got this time? You got anything good? Five color rice. Uh-oh. Uh, a gourd with five color rice used by Shinobi as landmarks? Um, intended to be spread on the ground in recognizable patterns. The white gourd is blessed with fertility and resting at a sculptor's idol will replenish it. This rice is not edible, however. Excuse me? What does this item actually do? <laughs> Used for as landmarks? So what, I can use it to mark a spot on the ground? What? Scrap magic Okay, I'll take these because that's useful, but I have no idea like what? And it's a it's a gourd, so it's another item that I would like rest at a bonfire and get, and then you dump it on the ground. Like, okay. What does it actually do? <laughs> this game's description suck, dude. It's like everything's trying to be in role play, so they don't like explain anything very well. Well, either way, let me buy that other scrap and then 1,600. All right, let's, let's try it out. Is it worth it? Probably not. Everything in this game is just a beginner's trap. Where you find the Where you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Where's my new <laughs> five color rice? Wow. All right, here we go, guys. This is going to be epic. Wow. Nice. Nice. That was that was totally worth. <laughs> what? What? Why? Does it like trick certain enemies to go up to it or something? Or does it add like if I go around the corner, can I still see it or something? Like what? What was the point? No, I can't even see it anymore. What? Oh, this game. It's like now they've just, like, FromSoft has actually lost their minds, dude. Like, there's moments of brilliance in this game, and then there's just, these devs are actually insane. It's like they know. They know that people are going to buy their game and read too deep into it and think that there's, like, some t deeper meaning. And it's like, nope. It's just a waste of time item that you can float on the ground that doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, there's secretly something down there, or... Ah. Okay, good. At least he can grapple up. Um, Merc saying that that rice that we just bought is literally just to make waypoints. Yeah, that's such a waypoint. I can see that rice from all the way over here. Wow. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I, I can navigate this map just fine. It's not like I needed... So, if, if any of you guys watching at home... Aren't that far into the game. Hey! Then you know, don't get that item. Oh my gosh, this game. No, not on a cliff! Like, are you kidding me right now? Why? And they just auto detect me too, like, whoo. More dumb sugar. Okay. Oh, no, no, you don't. There's quite a few of those guys over there. Oh, there's just the one. Okay. No, don't. Oh, I hate his jumping. Get out of here, you little goblin. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> At least that worked. 
Jeez. Look at this. This game, like, he can't even jump up here without double jumping. What is this? Well, this makes me think of what that old woman was saying. Like, she was saying, go through a cave at the edge of a cliff, right? So possibly this will get us to where we were going. Where where are we now? Oh, that's our stupid bonfire thing. Oh, so when I grappled up here, I was paying too much attention to up there. We were we could have came through that cliff. All right, whatever. I like how in this area above any other, they're giving us so many more of those little relic items. It's ridiculous. Like everywhere else in the game should be this. Uh, this this rich with these items what do we do now oh boy oh boy really we're gonna have to risk it to get the biscuit this is gonna suck i'm just gonna spam click oh my gosh <laughs> don't do parkour from soft ever again okay just don't do it please you're no good at it man oh my gosh it's not even don't do it anymore, okay? Please just stop. Just stop doing it. What? What do we do? What? 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 And <laughs> this game sucks, man. It's actually like so stupid. Just stick to Dark Souls, guys. You guys aren't good at parkour. Okay? Just don't do it anymore. And then he, last time he got a lot closer. You guys saw that. And then this time he's not. Like, oh my gosh, this game is so stupid. And you know, they're sitting there like, oh yes, this is just supposed to be like a really difficult jump. No, it's not a difficult jump. It's just stupid in its mechanics. Oh my gosh. Let's just keep trying it. And there's not going to be anything worthwhile over there either. And then this time he makes it. That's why you got to make that jump a little bit more automatic from soft because you guys make it all like inconsistent and dumb. My gosh, dude. <laughs> Just don't do it, guys. Just don't do it. Heavy coin purse. Wow, that was so worth it. Yeah, that was so worth coming over here. Uh, oh. Oh, no, not another one. Okay, that one at least kind of worked, but that scared me. <laughs> There better be something worthwhile over here. Like, give me a longer katana, please. Or something. I, and you know what's going to happen? There's going to be a demon up here, and it's going to one-shot me. And there's not going to be anything I can do about it. Lizards, that will poison me. Okay. That was really lucky. No, 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 no! <sighs> Uh, it literally said that it heals it, but I'm still seeing the status effect. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything here. Except for this. Better be worth it. So help me. What is this? White pinwheel. Small pinwheel made of white paper. Found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it is carried there by the wind. It is simply a single pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. <laughs> Do I attach it to the kite? And it like does something? Or is it literally just nothing? <laughs> like what? Okay, there's lizards around. So I'm just going to try and avoid them at all costs. I don't want to get poisoned again. And I most certainly don't want to fall off this cliff. Okay, what is this? A secret battle? Did we open a shortcut? Or is there just gonna be some demonic entity up here that's just been waiting to eat me? Yup! Some demon thing. Nah! I don't know what it is, but it's dead now. More gunpowder, I'll take it. He was actually trying to set me on fire, for crying out loud. Monkey booze. 
alcohol created by the oh so we could give this to the master and then he'll just prattle on about oh this is so good fruits hidden by the monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake uh with a bit of luck okay while it's known for brutally harsh flavors some find this acquired taste irresistible okay so it's just gonna be a story item Unless, hopefully, the old master sculptor is gonna be like, This is so good, man. I'm gonna give you the best item in the entire game now. I mean, it's this area is ar arguably awesome. That's for sure. But I'm scared. Okay. It keeps going dead silent, too. What is this? Yup. Yup. Saw that coming. Why am I in a loading screen? What? Oh, no. This is... Oh. Is that like a sign to ward off demons? Because this is actually getting, like, legit scary. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I want to go back and see if there's a bonfire nearby. Oh, here's a sign. Okay. Uh, Shinobi escape route leads to demon bell. Okay. So, that's an escape route. Cool. It's too bad that it has to go through a loading screen. It really shouldn't. I understand why. Maybe it's like difficult for them to make the pathway go to where we need we need it to take us. But there's an idol. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, good. Whew. Uh oh. So. Okay, I guess we'll rest. I think that that paper that we saw. There was probably another pathway to get up into here that we could have taken instead of doing everything that we just did. There's a lot of Buddha statues over there. Can we just jump over to that? That's like the edge of the that giant bridge. Oh my gosh, this area is gigantic. I... Uh, read. Do not ring this bell. Inviting misfortune is an act of virtual, but only the stoutest of heart should ever consider it. Okay. Thankfully... Mark told me about this because otherwise that is like so misleading. Uh, ringing this bell just makes the game even harder. Yeah, because I totally want to do that. Did this demon come back? Yeah, you did. Nah! Weird skeleton dude. Why would you ever want to make this game harder? <laughs> All right, well, let's see where this shortcut takes us. It's too bad there wasn't anything more to that area. Like, I guess there's that monkey booze, and we'll try that out on the sculptor and see if it does anything, but... Are there demons in here? Or is it just a travel point? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Whoa! What? Really? It's him? What? Ah! Come on! Can I get out? <laughs> I know where this is. We fought this guy before. All right. Well, I guess I can try and take him on. Unfortunately, he makes us like super slow in his fog area. Yeah. So this is actually an area that's right by the start of the game. Ah, come on. Your jumping sucks, dude. Okay. And he still just takes me to half health. Let me just get out of here. This is, I don't care. This is... Oh, great. I can't get out. What? My gosh, dude. <laughs> this game sucks! There's our way out. I can't grapple there, though, because my grappling hook's not long enough, devs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, can I just use this? Just take me to the temple, man. I am so done with this area. I am just so done. <laughs> uh, waste my money on that stupid rice thing and then go through all that just to fight that guy that's just annoying. All right, let me give this guy the monkey booze and then maybe we'll call it. Hopefully it's going to actually be useful. Hey, man. You need something? I hope I give it to you. Yeah, here you go. I brought something for you. Monkey booze, is it? Um, how did you know? Oh, it burns the throat, same as ever. This really brings back memories. 
Did you drink this often? I trained in the techniques of the Shinobi, in the valley where the monkeys dwelled. By yourself? No, there were two of us. We were rogue Shinobi. There was no proper master for the likes of us. That's why we went to the valley. To run, to jump, to clash swords. Where one slip would mean your doom. That uh -huh. was how we trained. We came to move exactly as monkeys did after a time. <laughs> I'd drink this monkey booze whenever I tired of training. And I'd listen to the howl of my partner's whistling finger while I drank. How? It was from his unique ring. Whistling through that ring would fill the valley with a somber melody. Strangely enough, I enjoyed that sound. Mm -hmm. I listened to it so often. Okay, so we need to get that to make this guy like give us something that it was just more story stuff. Whatever. I mean, I guess it's cool, but it's, uh, I don't know. Um, how come I can't get to my next? Oh, can I just not buy this because I don't have enough money? All prerequisites for this upgrade are not available yet. Oh, so I got to get like another upgrade first. That's too bad because I want, I want more. I want more of my shuriken thing. Uh... Pierces enemies with its sharp blades. What does this do? These piercing blades retain momentum after landing and will damage any enemies, vitality, and posture, even if guarded. Oh, okay, that thing. All right, well, Another that's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's getting tricky to understand, like, where the game actually wants us to go. Like, there's a lot of different pathways, which is neat, but do you have anything new to say, lady? It seems the sculptor's dragon rod... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that a long time ago. Uh, oh, give him even more. What is it? I thought it would be a fitting way to celebrate. Okay, this was when I gave, like, I used the dragon rot like a while back that Brought healed everyone. <laughs> did you now? Quite the busybody, aren't you? Yes. Here's your dumb tea. Are you going to talk about something boring again or something cool? I brought some tea. Mm, this tea smells pretty good. Suppose I'll have some. Oh, I needed that. This tea reminds me of Emma's father. What? About Lady Emma's father. Dogen. He was an extraordinary doctor. He mm -hmm. was also very well versed in mechanisms and devices. Better put, he was obsessed with mechanisms to the point that it affected his health. He didn't take much else seriously, but I owed him my life. Uh, and we could say that you owe him your life as well. What do you mean? When I lost my left arm, Dogen created that thing, which has now become your left arm. Uh -huh. The first version was a complete failure, didn't work at all. So he remade it. Then he remade it again and again countless times. <laughs> what? He told me I needed to practice with the prosthetic in order to use it properly. So Emma would pester me into carving her spinning tops and other toys. After much training of that sort, it came to be called a shinobi fang. In other words, that prosthetic arm is Dogen's legacy. His legacy? <laughs> so much time has passed. Well, I have abandoned my shinobi ways, that alone... I could not bear to abandon. Okay. Another time. Our character is like such a loser. Like he's such a generic, like, what? I'm confused about everything in this world. Like, geez, man. Ah, well, either way, I guess that's gonna do it for this episode of the recording session, everybody. Uh, I am still probably gonna keep going because I'm still enjoying this game, but that area is really weird, really tough as well. In either case, thanks for coming out. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Don't forget to like, sub. You guys know all that stuff. There's other support links down in the description. Sadorum, stay epic.